the humble experimenter who unveiled the hidden world. Michael Faraday, 1791-1867, is remembered as one of the greatest experimental scientists in history, the man whose discoveries made modern electricity possible. Yet behind the coils, magnets and generators was a profoundly spiritual mind. Faraday believed that the universe was sustained not by solid particles, but by invisible forces working behind the scenes. His experiments revealed that matter is not primary, fields are. These fields, though unseen, structure the behavior of every atom, every wave, every spark of energy. Faraday sensed that these invisible forces pointed to something deeper than mechanical physics, a spiritual architecture underlying physical reality. In his journals and lectures he spoke of nature as the expression of a deeper intelligence, an immaterial order that holds the world together. This video explores Faraday's scientific discoveries as windows into a profound metaphysical vision. That consciousness, not matter, is the true blueprint of the universe. We live in a universe built from invisible forces. Faraday's most groundbreaking insight was that the universe operates through fields, dynamic, invisible patterns of force that permeate space. Before him, the scientific world imagined matter as tiny billiard balls colliding in empty void. But Faraday demonstrated that magnets exert influence without contact, electricity moves through space by unseen lines of force, and energy flows along pathways that cannot be touched but can be mapped. These invisible force lines became the foundation of modern physics. Today, electromagnetic fields, gravitational fields, and quantum fields form the core of our scientific worldview, all born from Faraday's revolutionary intuition. But for Faraday, fields were not just mechanical constructs. They were the real substance of the universe, shaping matter as their shadow. He believed that what we see is merely the outer surface of a deeper, unseen structure, a web of invisible intelligence. Do you see energy as the language of creation? Faraday did not view energy as a technical term. To him, energy was the fundamental currency of reality, the hidden activity that animates all forms. He saw energy and field as two aspects of the same underlying phenomenon, patterns of influence, flow and connection. This perspective dissolved the old boundary between matter and force. Matter, he believed, was not solid substance, but frozen energy, shaped and guided by fields that extend outward in all directions. This was a radically holistic view. Everything in the universe is interconnected through invisible relations. In this sense, Faraday anticipated modern ideas in quantum physics and cosmology, where particles are seen as excitations of fields rather than independent objects. What we experience as physical form is simply the visible expression of invisible dynamics, much like waves on a deeper ocean of energy. So, what's the spiritual vision behind the science? Faraday's scientific genius was inseparable from his spiritual worldview. A devout member of the Sandemanian Christian tradition, he believed that nature was not random or mechanical, but the manifestation of God's continuous activity. To him, the laws of physics were the thoughts of God made stable, and the harmony of fields revealed divine order. Yet he refused to speculate about God in abstract philosophical terms. Instead, he sought God's presence in the patterns of nature. The invisible forces he discovered were not supernatural miracles. They were the living architecture of creation, the manner in which divine intelligence shapes the world from within. Faraday saw the universe as a sacred text written in the language of energy, and believed that every scientific discovery brought him closer to understanding the mind behind the forces. His spirituality was humble, but profound. Reverence through observation, devotion through experimentation. Here we will explain how fields can work as the structure of consciousness. Faraday's concept of fields did more than reshape physics, it transformed the way we understand consciousness. If matter is not primary, 
and invisible fields govern the behavior of all things, then consciousness may be intimately tied to this unseen architecture. Modern theories of mind, from electromagnetic consciousness models to quantum field interpretations, echo Faraday's insight that awareness arises not from matter alone, but from patterns of energy and relation. Consider how the brain functions. Neurons communicate through electrical signals, waves of electromagnetic activity synchronize thought and perception, and consciousness seems to emerge not from physical matter, but from organized fields of information. Faraday's field concept therefore provides a metaphysical bridge. Consciousness could be a higher-order field, interacting with the electromagnetic and quantum fields that structure the brain. In this view, awareness is not a byproduct of matter. It is an expression of the same invisible principles that shape the cosmos. The unity of science and spirit through the field. Faraday's insights helped dissolve one of the oldest divides in human thought, the separation between science and spirituality. If invisible fields shape matter, and if those fields follow elegant, harmonious laws, then the divide between physical mechanism and divine order becomes thinner than ever. Faraday himself believed that science and faith were two ways of observing the same reality, one from the outside, one from within. Field theory, born from his experiments, reveals a cosmos that is relational, coherent, and in constant dialogue with itself. Everything influences everything else. Nothing is isolated. This interconnectedness mirrors ancient spiritual teachings about unity, oneness, and the underlying consciousness that permeates existence. Faraday's worldview allows us to see nature not as a dead machine, but as a living field of intelligence, unfolding through energy, law, and purpose. The Spiritual Architecture of Reality in the end, Faraday's discoveries reveal a universe woven from invisible structures, fields that extend beyond boundaries, influence without contact, and bring order to chaos. This is the spiritual architecture of reality, a hidden matrix of forces that mirrors the structure of mind itself. Just as consciousness organizes thoughts, the electromagnetic and gravitational fields organize matter, just as awareness connects experiences into meaning, the fields connect particles into form. Faraday's universe is not cold or mechanical, it is relational, alive and deeply intentional. What appears solid is actually fluid, what seems separate is intimately connected, and what we call physical is merely the outermost expression of deeper, non-material principles. In this vision, the cosmos becomes a sanctuary, a vast invisible temple where every law of nature is a reflection of a greater intelligence. Faraday's legacy is a reminder that the closer we look at the universe, the more clearly we see the fingerprints of consciousness shaping every level of existence, the unseen forces that illuminate the world. Michael Faraday revolutionized science by revealing that invisible forces structure everything we know, Yet he also offered something far more profound. A glimpse into a universe guided not by chaos but by meaning, not by randomness but by intelligent harmony. His fields are the threads of an unseen tapestry, weaving matter, energy and consciousness into a single continuum. Faraday's life and work invite us to see reality as more than physical, to perceive the spiritual architecture that sustains it. In every magnetic field, every pulse of electricity, every ripple of energy, we can sense a deeper presence, the quiet intelligence shaping the cosmos from within. Through Faraday's eyes, science becomes a path to awe, a gateway to the sacred, and a reminder that the invisible is not emptiness, but the very essence of existence.